have a lot of parent support around here. And parents know that <clears throat> it's open, that they can come in here anytime. And periodically, I do get parents coming in to the gym or even coming outside of the morning mile that they participate. This year we started a full school walking program. Last year we did a little bit by class, by grades, and they just took them all into the small gym at a certain time for about 15 minutes. But this year I applied for a grant and received it. The only grant, uh, it's called the Morning Mile, and it's only in the state of Minnesota. We're the only one in the state of Minnesota that have that. Um, so far, we started at the beginning of September. So far, this we have gone almost well over 10,000 miles. I've had many teachers talk to me about how their focus is better in the classroom. You know, they come in, they've got all the jitters out of them, all the talking out of them, and so when they get to their classroom, they're ready to work. I try to get the kids excited for Fayette. Um, I do activities that are relevant to the kids. Like, for example, this year, I'm doing a, a game called Minecraft Monopoly. They're doing work, they're doing exercise and not knowing it. That brings happiness to me. Since I've been here, even as a custodian, I've seen such a huge, um, a huge coming together all the, all the time from the parents, from community members, uh, from the staff that work here. Um, they're all, it's just one big community, one big family. Um, and things like the, the forest definitely help also solidify that. There are so many programs here that really bring in um, other people within the community. Well, the Clearview Forest is now 40 years old. It's a combo um, forest with a Department of Natural Resources. Um, it's about 50 acres. We have done all kinds of things for the forest. We have built a handicap accessible trail. We have a picnic eating area out in our, our prairie. We have had six Eagle Scout projects and we have many more available for anyone looking for Eagle Scout projects. And the best part about it, and this ties in with um, George's Mile in the Morning program, they are outside, they are just glowing with excitement for life. And that's what it's all about. It is a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. You get to work with other kids and uh, other community members, and I really like the outdoors anyway, so um, a lot of it is in, uh, involves uh, cutting branches and clearing brush out of the way, which as a little kid I was growing up, I grew up doing that. I was always out in the woods helping either my grandpa get firewood or we always did a lot of, uh, a lot of trailblazing through the through the woods so we have hosted three different amities and they've all been from Spain we strategically did that so we could go and visit them and it was it was incredible to see them in their environment meet their families and a lot of them don't speak English so it was really uh, fun to watch Dane interact with those people our trip to Spain usually was looking at historic things with our amities, which was uh, really fun for them and us because they got to show us their culture. Watching Dane uh, communicate with people in Spain was, it was thrilling because I do not know the language. That is the fruition of this program and how they can communicate with other, other people in different parts of the world. I am Clearview. I am Clearview. Yo soy Vista Clara. I am Clearview.